Hey, beautiful people of the Most High God. So I'm going to tell you all the Psalms that Daughter Zion wrote and where there were parts where they put King David and he didn't write it. So King David wrote from Psalms 3 to 14 and Psalms 15. The Daughter of Zion wrote it. I'm just in my Bible. Um, King David wrote Psalms 16, Psalms 17. Daughter Zion wrote Psalms 18. I will love thee, O Lord, my strength. The Lord is my rock and my fortress and my deliverer, my God, my strength in whom I will trust, my buckler and the horn of my salvation and my high tower. Remember, her name means highest point and he will anoint me with fresh oil. She says that as well. Um, and then he ta she talks about, he made darkness his secret place, his pavilion round about him were dark waters and thick clouds of the sky. So... You can highlight this in your Bible and you can take this up with asking God yourself because I lost three subscribers and everything I'm telling is the absolute truth. So, okay. King David wrote Psalms 19, Psalms 20, Psalms 21, Psalms 22, Psalms 23. He did write it. Psalms 24. Psalms 25, he did not write. His daughter wrote it. It says, A Psalms of David. King David did not write this Psalms. Unto thee, O Lord, do I lift up my soul. And she also wrote the Psalms where it says, I'll lift up my eyes unto the hills from whence comes my help. My help comes from the Lord who made the heavens and earth. Lead me in thy truth and teach me. So she wrote Psalms 25. King David wrote Psalms 26. King David wrote Psalms 27. She wrote Psalms 28. All right, you're going to see that she wrote way more psalms than her dad. Um, she wrote Psalm King David wrote Psalms. So Psalms 28, unto thee will I cry, O Lord, my rock. Daughter Zion wrote Psalms 29. King David wrote Psalms 30. King David Psalms 30. Daughter Zion wrote Psalms 30. All right, and it says a psalm. And a dedication of the house of David. I will exalt thee, O Lord, for thou hast lifted me up and has not made my foes to rejoice over me. So daughter Zion wrote Psalms 30. And Psalms 31, King David, daughter Zion, and her first son wrote it. Okay? King David wrote the first part of it. Daughter Zion wrote the second part of it. And her son wrote the last the last few precepts in Psalms 31, sorry, Psalms 30, Daughter Zion wrote it, but Psalms 31, three people wrote this Psalms. King David wrote the first part, King, Daughter Zion wrote the middle, and her son wrote the end. The last few precepts. This part from her son, thou shalt hide me in the secret of thy presence from the pride of man that Thou shalt keep them secretly in a pavilion of tongues. No, he's actually, it started from here. Oh, how great is thy goodness. How do I know all this? You should ask God. Um, Pro Psalms 32. Daughter Zion wrote Psalms 32. Psalms 33. She didn't write. Psalms 34. King David wrote. Psalms 35, King David wrote, Plead my cause, O Lord, with them that strive with me. King David wrote that Psalms. King David wrote Psalms 36, Psalms 37. So Psalms 36, Psalms 37, King David wrote. Psalms 38, Daughter Zion wrote. S Psalms 39, King David wrote. Psalms 40, The Daughter of Zion wrote. Um... That's why she talks about herself. This is important because I'm going to go to another where in precept 7, 8. It says, I delight to do thy will, O my God. Yeah, thy law is within my heart. That's why it's called, she's called a pure in heart. I have preached righteousness in the great congregation. Lo, I have not refrained my lips, O Lord. Thou knows. I have not hid thy righteousness within my heart. I have declared thy faithfulness. And thy salvation, I have not concealed thy love and kindness and thy truth from the great congregation. Right? This Psalms, she also wrote, 
being his hide and Psalms 32. That's why it was into it was a song. Thou art my hiding place, thou shalt preserve me from trouble, thou shalt compass me about with songs of deliverance. Sila. Do you know the song? You are my hiding place. You always fill my heart. Her heart, she's talking about that. Okay, same thing. I have not hid my righteousness in my heart. So um Psalms 40, she also wrote. We're in Psalms 40 right now. Um, Psalms 41, King David wrote. Psalms 42, daughter of Zion wrote. Psalms 43, daughter of Zion wrote. Psalms 44, it says, you see Psalms 43 has no name of who wrote it. That's when they wiped out her name. She wrote it. Psalms 42, it says the sons of Korah wrote it. They did not. Daughter of Zion wrote it. Psalms 44, Daughter Zion wrote. Psalms 45, King David wrote for Daughter Zion. Psalms 46, the sons of Korah didn't write that song. King David did. Um, Psalms 47, they did write that Psalms, the sons of Korah. Psalms 48, the sons of Korah wrote that Psalms. Psalms 49, the sons of Korah wrote that song. Psalms 50, Asaph wrote that song. Psalms 51, King David did write Psalms 51. And he talks about his daughter in it as well. They, uh, she even made Psalms talking about her dad. And Psalm 17, um, in this, she, King David talks about her in Psalms 51. And precept 18, do in thy good pleasure unto Zion, build thou the walls of Jerusalem. All right, so we're going to keep going. King David wrote Psalms 52, Psalms 53, Psalms 55. Yeah, he wrote Psalms 55, Psalms 56. The daughter of Zion wrote Psalms 56, a warfare prayer. Be merciful unto me, O God. So, yeah, she wrote that. King David wrote Psalms 57. You're going to see she wrote more than her dad. King David wrote Psalms 58. King David wrote Psalms 59. Daughter Zion wrote Psalms 60. Give us help from trouble, for vain is the help of man. She's the one who said it, where, where she says God isn't has spoken in his holiness, I will rejoice. I will divide Shechem, I will meet out the valley of Sakoth. Gilead is mine, Manasseh is mine, Ephraim also is the strength of my head, Judah is my lawgiver, Moab is my washpot, over Edom will I cast out my shoe. That's why in uh, another one of her Psalms, she talks about the children of Edom. Um, yeah, give us help from trouble, for vain is the help of man. Through God we shall do valiantly, for it's he that shall tread down our enemies. That's Daughter Zion's Psalm. Psalm 61 is King David's Psalm. Psalm 62, King David's Psalm. Psalm 63 is King David's Psalm. Psalm 64, King David's Psalm. Psalm 65, King David's Psalm. Psalm 66, Daughter Zion's Psalm. That's, it says, to the chief musician, it doesn't have a name, it says, to the chief musician, a song or psalm, make a joyful noise unto God, all you lands. She wrote Psalms 66, and she wrote Psalms 67, and she wrote Psalms 68, let God arise and let his enemies be scattered. Let them also that hate him flee before him. As smoke is driven away, so drive them away. As wax melts before the fire, so let the wicked perish at the presence of God. Psalms 68. I stopped at Psalm 68. Sorry, I'm turning my Bible. Um, Psalm 69. King David wrote Psalm 69. Psalm 70. King David wrote Psalm 70. Psalm 71. Daughter Zion wrote the Psalm 71. 
In thee, O Lord, do I put my trust. Let me never be put to confusion. She is the one who wrote that. Deliver me in thy righteousness and cause me to escape. Incline thy ear unto me and save me. Be thou my strong habitation where until I may continually resort.